Hello guys. Uh, today we have something special for you. We are going to be reviewing the Toyota Prado Land Cruiser. And I'm going to give you a brief history of, about the car. First, this car has been in production since 1996. Uh, this is a 2016 model, Toyota Prado. And I'm going to tell you all about it, all the features that come with the car, and why people love this car. Come with me. So we are going to look under the hood, which is the name of our channel, under the hood. Please like and subscribe. First thing you are going to notice, it's a very clean car. This car, this particular car, which is the Toyota Prado TZG, it comes with a 2.8 liter diesel uh, that produces 100 and 170 horsepower with uh, around 450 newtons meters of torque. Uh, the engine is basic, nothing special about the engine. It's a very reliable engine, but has a lot of power. But we are going to tell you more about the engine and the trim levels that come with the car. So now, we are going to look at the front, the front profile of the car. One thing you'll notice that is distinct with this car is the headlights. These are uh, not your normal headlights. These are LED headlights that we call the teardrop, with the teardrop shape. At the center, we have the grill. We have the chrome grill to show you the prestige. People love grill, eh? people love chrome. Uh, at the center, we have the Toyota badge. It's a very huge badge. Uh, we have the parking sensors. Uh, nothing much about the front, just the fog lights, the parking sensors, and the car looks muscular, it looks aggressive, it looks bold on the road. Thanks to the, thanks to the, uh, the, uh, the cosmetic surgery, this car came from the, uh, since the other, the, since the previous generation. This car comes with a refreshed grille, refreshed lights, LED lights, and when you come with this trim of the TZG, uh, you get some of the advantage that this car comes with. Moving to the side of the car, this is where you realize this is just not any normal car. This is a 4x4 SUV. These are cars that are meant to go off-road to take you anywhere on any other terrain. One particular interesting thing is that this car comes standard with 17-inch alloy rims that you can upgrade to 18 alloy rims. Uh, as you can see, the treads, they are meant for going off-roading and it has a very large profile that can be able to absorb the shocks that come when you go off-roading. Also, one interesting thing is the ground, ground clearance. As you can see, it has a high ground clearance so that when you are going off-roading, the car cannot be brushed easily by the bushes or, or stones. Also, we have a retractive sidestep. This one, since this is a car that is high up, this one helps you when you are climbing in the car. I'll show you one thing. As you can see, this, this car is, pre, it sits pretty high up. So one thing is that you have to step in to get into the car like this. As you can see. Another interesting feature about the car, this car comes uh, standard with LED lights. And uh, as you can see, we have something special. We have the Land Cruiser logo inside the lights to remind you where the money is. Uh, at the back, when you come at the back, uh, this is where things get really, really crazy for most of you guys. First, you have the chrome uh, with your Land Cruiser and your Toyota badge at the middle. Then you have something very special that we're going to explain today. We have this uh, TZG. This, this Prado is a TZG trims. We have different trims that uh, Prado comes with and we are going to be demystify the myths about the, the, the trims that this car comes with. First of all, we have uh, 
the TX, we have the TXL, we have the VX, the VXL, we have the GX, we have the Altitude, the Kakadu, the TZ, and the TZG. First, there are two types of Prado. There's one that comes with a spare wheel at the back, and then another one that comes with a spare wheel at the, at the bottom. Utona inye kona mgu nyuma na ingine ka na mgu hapa chini. Gari zote zinakuja na mgu nyuma, the, those that comes with the wheel at the back, the spare wheel at the back, those, are, those cars originate either from Australia or South Africa. Others that come with the wheel at the, at the, at the bottom, they originate from Japan. So those cars that come with the wheel at the back, they are usually 3 liter diesel. The ones that come with the, the wheel at the, at the, at the bottom, they are usually 2.8 diesel. The reason is, when this wheel is at the, at the, at the, at the bottom, uh, most of the Prados don't have a spare, a spare, don't have space for the spare fuel tank. So, wanaweka hapa nyuma. So, to have an extra reserve tank at the bottom, so unapata hizo gari zenye zikona the wheel at the back, they usually 3 liter na zenye zime zime komgu chini, they are 2.8 liter. So, coming to the entry trim, that's the base level, Ile the basic enye utapata kama Prado ina, ina itango TX, the TX Prado. That is the Prado that comes with a 2.7 liter petrol. From there, you, now you get the TXL. The TXL uh, and the TX zimiachana kidogo sana. The only difference those two cars that have is, one is you have an option, you can get an option uh, leather seats. You can have an option uh, of uh, the sunroof. The other thing you can get uh, is the option of the cool box. Those are the only difference between the TX and the TXL. Uh, coming uh, to the VX, the VXL, the TX, T, the TZ, and the TZG. So, so those are the trims that come with leather seats, a standard, moonroof, standard. Cool box standard. So, let's note this. The TZG is the highest stream that comes from Japan. While the Kakadu is the highest stream that comes from Australia. Utaskia Kakadu, Utaskia TZG. Those are the highest stream. Different location. But all cars, all Prados, Zinatengenezeo Japan, but for different markets. But sisi tunasosuku Kenya, we have several markets. We have Australia, we have South Africa, and we have Japan. And that's why I've told you the TZG is the highest stream that comes from Japan. The Kakadu is the highest stream that comes from Australia. The TX is the basic stream. Yonile, the cheapest you can get in the market. But now, with the... With the with, uh, it's not that cheap when it comes with other options like the leather seats, the moonroof, the cool box, the 360 view camera. It doesn't come cheap. So basically, this being a 4x4 SUV, it's a family SUV. And it's a, it comes standard as a 7-seater. Kuna zile utapata na, as a 5-seater, but most zinakuja kama 7-seater. Let's watch uh, the boot space that this car comes with. Huh? As you can see at the back, we have a plenty of boot space. Uh, you can fit all your family goods, the cargo, the briefcase. Ukienda Ocha, this is the car that you need. Because the advantage is, one, it's a 4x4, it's a family SUV, and it can seat seven people. Uh, right now, the car is configured to a five-seater, but the third row, you can, uh, you can incline it and accommodate two more extra people. This is how you do it. Uh, at the back, on the side, you have two buttons for the two extra seats. So, Kuzipandisha, you just press them. Uh, 
and there you have it. The only problem is that ukipandisha the, the two extra seats, the boot space becomes cramped. Even a briefcase can't fit. So basically, if you are traveling seven people, cargo, sahau. But if you are traveling uh, five people, you can put as much luggage at the back as possible and you will be very comfortable even for long distances. Azima to the stairs, the side steps, eh? so that you can get into the car. <sighs> so this is your cockpit. This, oh, so this is the driver's area, the cockpit. And uh, everything looks pretty well. Uh, so first, uh, you have uh, your leather stitched uh, steering wheel. You have your volume controls. You have your infotainment controls. The car comes uh, with keyless entry. You have your key over here. It's a basic uh, key. And uh, to start the car, you press your foot on the brake. And then you, you push the start-stop button. And your car comes alive. Uh, one... Uh, it, one interesting thing that you'll notice about this car is the leather, the amount of leather and the amount of effort that they have put in this car. So first, it comes uh, with the leather wrapped steering wheel. You have a uh, soft leather at the door, at the, at the cabin, on the dash, everywhere. Uh, you have uh, on the armrest, you have a soft padded leather. The, all the seats come standard with the leather. This is a uh, cream in. This is a cream. And also we have uh, a luxurious uh, finish of wood. We have a wood finish on the glove box, at the center console, on the door, and even on the, on the gear level. Another thing you'll notice uh, is this car comes uh, with a cool box. But to a masafamaref when you are in the, in the hot areas, to open the cool box, you have a mini refrigerator over here. You can put your drinks and they will remain chill throughout the journey. Heated seat settings. You have your USB port. You have your auxiliary port. You have your power voltage port. Uh, you have your standard uh, gear lever. Also, this car comes with height. You have a uh, um, hill descent control. Also, you have uh, the traction control buttons over here. You have uh, a little bit of storage. You can put. Uh, you can put your phone. You can put your phone over there. Uh, on the side, at the door, you have uh, extra storage for putting. Uh, you can put your bottles over here. Extra storage. You have uh, cup holders over here. Okay. Uh, the other thing we are going to talk about is uh, the front. This is where the magic happens. So this car comes uh, with analog dials. Uh, you can control uh, you can control the the, an, uh, the analog uh, gauges using the you have your volume buttons. You have your volume buttons. Comes with pretty, very good music system. You won't regret it when you buy this car. The other thing you'll notice, and it's only in the TZG, is the 360 view camera. As you can see, this camera you can see on the front, back, and both sides. So, as you can see, I can see the side profiles of the car. Uh, I can see at the front. At the back so this is the only trim level of the car the tzg prado that comes with the 360 camera huta pata ingine ikiwa nayo unless you install it manually all said and done this car comes with a six speed automatic gearbox that is uh, connected to a uh, we said a 2.8 liter diesel that produces around 170 horsepower so uh we have your sun visors the magic mirrors 
Then, as I told you, this is a high stream. So it will come with the moonroof. As you can see, uh, we have the moonroof over here. Tukitaka kufungua. There it is. So you can uh, cruise with your car as you enjoy uh, the fresh air. Let's close this one. Uh, let's go and look at the back and see what it has. Guys, we are at the back. And uh, as you can see, there is luxury everywhere. Leather seats at the back also. We have uh, the wooden trims on the doors. We have leather on the doors all, also. And uh, it's really comfortable at the back. Uh, we have a lot of space here. As you can see, we have a lot of leg room. For somebody who's pretty tall, we have a lot of leg room. Our headroom is very good. And uh, you can sit very comfortably, three people here. Let me move at the center, as you can see. We don't have a lot, a uh, very huge uh, hump in the middle. So someone sitting in the middle seat uh, will be very comfortable for long distances also. Uh, you have your climate controls over here. You have your charging port. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, 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 very comfortable car at the back. So guys, uh, we are we are driving the Prado TZG. Uh, as you can uh, tell from the, this car is a very comfortable car to drive. One thing you'll notice is that it has a high ground clearance, and therefore a high center of gravity. Uh, we are currently off road, and you can see the soft suspension of the TZG. The Prado is able to take the heat pretty well. And the car has a lot of power. When you press it, it has power when you need it. Uh, one thing that uh, makes the Prado a very capable car is, uh, is the engineering behind it. That is the body on frame chassis. This is one. The, this is one of the technology that makes the Prado, the TX Prado, a very capable 4x4 off-road. Because when you are busy off-roading on the uh, on the mountains, Kendagishagi, the stress that comes uh, from the from the chassis is not uh, is not uh, transmitted or is not uh, passed to the body. So there you have guys. Uh, you have seen the TZG, the pra Toyota Prado. And uh, for those who don't have a lot of money, you can uh, still get the entry trim that is the TX. And you will really, really enjoy this car. As you can see, it comes with the heated leather seats. You have the moonroof. You have uh, the cool box, that the mini refrigerator for your drinks. And above all, the selling point for this car is its off-road capabilities, the 4x4. This is not a, a fast car. I will really stress on that because uh, when you are cornering or when you are going fast, you will hear a lot of body rolls and uh, it can be unstable at high speed. So, this is a car with a high center of gravity, high ground clearance. So, guys, in Igaritu Yastarehe, and uh, for those who want adventure and moving off road, this is your car, I would highly recommend it. And also, as we finish, we are going to say thank you to Car Soko, those who have sponsored us today with the Toyota uh, Prado Land Cruiser. They are located at the village market. You can go and uh, visit their yard, and uh, you'll get amazing, amazing, amazing discounts. So, see you there on our next episode. Don't forget to click, like, and subscribe.